All right, you guys, welcome back to Open Matt Chronicles 1865 Rod here. Man, I got some things on my mind today, Shaper. <laughs> I, got got? I got some fat fees, bro. <laughs> we're talking some things that, well, we were talking earlier, we were talking about things that maybe might be a little annoying in jujitsu, right? Dig it. Um, so we're going to kind of discuss and unwrap some of these things that are kind of little pet peeves of mine and yours possibly. So without further ado, let me kick it over to Schaefer. What's happening, everybody? Got Schaefer in the house. And uh, yeah, we're going to talk about some shit that bothers us. Maybe this is the complaining episode. Just let, <laughs> let us know if we're, we're fucking bitching and moaning gonna... and crying and complaining like, too I hate much. these fools. I hate everything. Complaining too much. This is bullshit. Yeah. Look, man. I'll start it off. Pet peeve number one. This is the biggest pet peeve, and in fact, I'm going to probably circle back to it by the end of this episode. Biggest pet peeve. Check your ego at the door. Too many people. See, that's a big one, right? It is too a many. One. We <laughs> too can have a whole episode on just that. Checking your ego at the door could be a whole episode. Maybe totally we good. will. So I won't go too deep. When I say check your ego at the door, which I say a lot, it's, it's basically me trying to explain that whatever's going on, usually... What you think is happening, it's only in your mind. You're projecting your thoughts and feelings onto other people's intentions. And a lot of times you're like, oh, this guy, he's trying to get me. He's got it out for me. He just wants to embarrass me. He just wants to do this. Oh, he just wants to beat me so he can look better in front of professor because if he catches me and he's a little bit lower and I'm a little bit higher, man, it's going to show off, right? That whole conversation was in your own head. It's probably not what he was thinking. He was probably like, oh, my God, this guy's really good. I hope he doesn't choke me out like he did last time. I hope I don't get embarrassed. I hope, I hope that uh, my, my, my girlfriend doesn't see this on YouTube. And here's the thing, right? We don't care. Nobody we don't, cares. We, we, we don't care. We don't care. Absolutely nobody <laughs> cares. But the funny part is that's his ego thinking what you're going to do to him. It's always it's always back and forth. Most people they just they project what they think is going to yes. happen, right? Yes. So for me, and I'm not perfect, but far from it, right? I try to check my ego at the door. I really do. I come in and I go, We're in practice. I'm not gonna go hundred percent. And even if for some reason I have to go 100%, it's probably because we've agreed on it. It's a match, not a not a, just a little a regular roll. Yeah, yeah. And if you get me, you get me. If you don't, you don't. Um, if you get me and my ego does take control, I get hurt like I did that last time, right? I get Barada plotted and I go, yeah. my ego says, nah, bullshit, I'm getting out. But reality kicked in and my arm got snapped up, right? So – you have to check your ego at the door and you have to say, Hey, listen, it's serious, but it's not that serious. The person who I'm rolling probably isn't thinking that deeply about this role. It's like, you're in the moment, man. You're just in the moment. You're just trying to get your role on. Anyway, I think that's what it is though. So if you're like a lower belt, yo, their whole game plan is like, I'm going to get a submission. I am going to submit you. And you're like, you're just in a different world. You're like, I'm just rolling, dude. Like the chips fall where they where they may. Like right. if you give me something, I'm gonna take it. But I'm not like objectively trying to go out there like I must submit this guy. Correct. Right. right. It's not that serious. It's not that serious. At, le- at least not if you're if it's if it's just a roll. If, if you're it's just a regular roll. Sometimes you get that way, but not for the most part. If it's competition training, we've already experienced. You yeah. know, that's different. That's different. Mm-hmm. You're you're then you're here. You're really purpose driven. You're you're trying to bring out that killer instinct yes. and. You're trying to say, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna crush my enemies. Yes. I'm gonna see them driven before me and hear the lamentation of the women. Remember that? <laughs> that's from that's from Conan. That's pretty good. <laughs> so, that's a pet peeve that people can't check their egos. Um, I've seen so many people get hurt. I've seen actual fights break out because really? because people's egos are in the way, man. Like, okay, if you if you just chill out, you'll notice that stuff stops bothering you. Stuff stopped bothering me a long time ago. Like. I'm, yeah. I'm pretty laid back. I'm a, I'm a cool laid back. You character. are pretty chill. I think a lot of that. I, I might have got a lot of might have rubbed off on me a little bit because I really don't mind like if if somebody catches me something, 
it's like I don't really care. And I think a lot of it's because like number one, you're not going that hard. Right. You're just training like let's say you're going 75, 80%, they're going 75, 80. They catch you, they got the better view that time. It's fine. There it is. And you learn from it, you know, like like and, and who the hell was really watching you anyway? Who, who's no, one, lo- no one cares. Yeah, no we one don't cares. care. We don't care. Like, Nobody's <laughs> looking over your shoulders. Yeah. And if they are looking over to your shoulder like that, then you probably do actually already know it. You're not you're not surprised because it does happen. You might yeah. get an instructor who's like, I'm gonna keep my eye on this guy and I wanna see what he does, right? Exactly. But if you're an instructor and you are doing that and you go, I wanna see what he does, then I think it's on you to actually let them know that I expect you to actually go against your training partners like it's a real fight. Exactly. Because if he's actually just a really good martial artist and he's a good training partner. He's probably not trying to decimate those who he rolls against, right? So now if you're watching him, you're like, well, how come he's how come he's letting that that belt below him catch him? Because he's actually helping. You know what I mean? He's not just using you like mat fodder. I w- and you know what? That never goes away because I'm going to, um, like, shout out to one of our new black belts, uh, Michael, Big Michael, right? He just got his black belt. Hell yeah. And we rolled on promotions, and he – Come in armbar, right? And it was cool. It was like, okay, we're going, and we roll, we have chill rolls. We're not trying yeah. to kill each other. Like, he's been training for 12, 13 years, like me. We, 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 it's not that serious. Right, right. So, anyway, we're rolling, rolling, got the gi on, catch me in an armbar. Boom, all right, cool. But what's cool about it was that, you know, I had it gripped up. He gave me a chance to defend a little bit. And I, right. I clearly, like, yeah, his, his attack is pretty tight. You know, I can't get out. It, I got a tap, dude. Right? Oh, yeah. like, he exactly. got it, bro. Right? But he didn't just yank it like, oh, I'm just gonna right, break right. your arm. Like, he he actually stopped it, gave me a chance to see if my my escape would work, and then when it didn't work, then he started slowly yeah, he getting finishes. it. And I was yeah, like, that's no, legit. Is that true. That's how jujitsu is supposed to be. That's why he's a great guy to roll with, and it was awesome. And you learn from that. You're like, okay, so let's let me reverse engineer it. What did I do wrong? Okay, yep. I see. Maybe I was whatever being lazy. Maybe I just made a mistake. Maybe he was better at me and passed my guard. Whatever. There you go. But you learn from it and you go on. Here's what I here's my pet peeve. Uh-huh. That revenge tap. Oh Because like, like we had like a minute left and I was like, oh man, like you know it does click and everybody's everybody's brain it clicks right when you get submitted. You're like, oh. but I'm like, no, dude, stop. <laughs> it's just chill, dude. Because like, why, 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 why should that change anything in the role? Right. Because I got submitted. So now the revenge tap now, is basically you're going, I need to now get him back. Now I'm going to go 100%, even though we're both going like 75, just because you got – that's stupid. So I, even though that thought came in my mind, I wanted to, but I, you know, put it down. Checked your ego. Checked the ego, <laughs> and we just kept going like we did before. And it just ended up like a non – nothing to even really talk about. It's it just, just a roll ended. The bell went off. Right. Slapped hands. Thanks, dude. Appreciate the roll. Go to the next guy. It was a fun roll. It was a fun roll. It I wasn't like, a competition. Nope. Like – Hell, it wasn't even like it wasn't even something that there was nothing to be proven. He's probably because, not even thinking about it. That's the yeah, funny thing. Exactly. <laughs> I know we're it. we're here doing we're a whole it up, fucking yeah. podcast he's about it. Yeah, and shit. He's bringing it up. No, <laughs> it, but it was good because it was during a promotion. Yeah. And also, congratulations on your strike. Yeah. Oh, so. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it was during a promotion, and it wasn't. A death match, dude. There no. was families there. We had food. We had yeah. brisket and I'm trying to go eat a brisket, sushi dude. and shit. Yeah, we were just chilling, man. So, yeah, that that pet peeve that of of not being able to check your ego and then letting shit just get out of control. No revenge taps. Don't do revenge taps. Nah, well, Somebody gets crazy. you, they get you, and just continue the roll with the same cadence that you were doing previously. Keep it at that. Hundred percent right. Yeah, hundred percent right. So. All right, you hit revenge tap. So, all right, let me go to a more traditional. You know what really grinds my gears? <laughs> it's, like, it's like, here's the thing, right? If you've got if, if you've got the fucking gi that oh, you, you only get to Oh, you ain't going to steal my watch. thunder, are you? No, dude, I'm not. Listen, if you've got the gi and you've only, like, maybe watched it once or twice ever Ooh. in your life. Oh, yeah. And you're like, oh, man. You know, I only got this one gi. Hey, and I, I understand. I understand. I never I never look funny at anybody's financial situation. Welcome to jujitsu. I'm I'm happy that you're here. Um, but if you need to go take that son bitch out and hand wash it with some dove soap or something or whatever you have to do. Hang dry that bad boy. Hang dry it. You need to do it right after class, whatever the case may be. <clears throat> there is no excuse yeah. to come in with a stinky gi. Now Here's the thing about stinky geese, right? Dude, there's nasty. there's levels to stinky because stank, right? <laughs> You've got some geese; they just 
smell like that weird moldy sweat, and that's terrible. But then you also have some gis that it doesn't quite smell like weird moldy sweat because you 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 you, you sprayed some high karate on top of it. Anybody who doesn't know who high karate is, that's, that's, that's old school. That's some seventies fucking cologne. Um, but then here's the, the flip side to that one is when the ladies come in and they smell like freaking a oh. bouquet of roses. Oh. That's also overpowering, right? You really should just have a neutral smell when you come to jujitsu because you're going to sweat. You're going to start to stink. So don't start the game off already with a strong odor before you even start rolling. I ain't trying to roll with just bouquet in, of roses. Yeah, right? It just intensifies. It's one of those pet peeves. Yeah, no, that, that's legitimate. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, and, and I will say, I think they may not know because when I was a white belt, I mean, you first start, you join, you buy a gi, and you're like, okay, I got my gi. You don't really know that you need to have a fresh gi every single time you train. So you might take that gi and you might recycle it once, just out of out yeah. of ignorance, you know. You're like, and, I didn't sweat that much. No, that gi is gonna stink. You got like every single time, and, and if it's a white gi, you gotta bleach it. See, I bleach, bleach it, the shit out of. I only buy white gis now. Oh yeah, because That's why. Okay. well, two reasons. I only buy white gis partially because a white gi with a black belt just looks cool as it shit. It looks pretty good. Yeah. Looks cool as shit, right? But I also get it because. I can bleach the dog shit out of it, right? Yeah. I'll bleach it. I come in, smell like, <laughs> like a like like a fresh hospital a bottle of Clorox. <laughs> yeah. So and it keeps it nice and shiny. It gets all the blood out. It's it's pretty good, right? So I like personally bleaching the geese and then just hang them up. Then people are like you shouldn't bleach it because you're gonna weaken the material. Hey Don't man, you- <laughs> buy your shit from Amazon. It costs like fifty bucks. Bro, this is gonna be funny. This is gonna be controversial, but it made me think of something back in the back in the eighties. Like you know, how you had different gangs, right? right? <clears throat> you had like the Crips, you had the Bloods, but then the Hispanics had they had their own style, right? But they were always smooth, dude. They had these khakis on, and they would be just <laughs> yeah. pressed, dude. Like they were military, and the shirt would be this white shirt, right? Bleached out, just ironed perfectly, dude. They'd yeah. have the freaking what's the thing the lumberjack thing uh-huh, all uh-huh. pressed up like damn man these are like they're like they must be a mix ex military or something I don't know dude. nah <laughs> nah but, they, actually, but I know but you know what I'm saying though. you know what I'm saying oh, right? I know exactly they what were you're pressed about. up dude yep. they were smooth but anyway I digress <laughs> <laughs> I like that old movie Blood In Blood Out they were yeah. clean they were cleaning that they were clean, or not blood dude, in. it was, it was uh, yeah blood in blood blood in blood out yeah 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 but that's but funny. that that reminded me because like when I wash my all my white shirts they smell like bleach but they yeah. smell good it's clean it's clean it's just super duper clean so you got to get at least. If you're going to train three days a week, get three geese. If you're going to train two days a week, get two geese. If you're going to train five days a week, get five geese. Right, That's what right. got to be. That is, to, maybe. Yes. Or you just have to or wash, just wash them more them often. Right. So, like, this this goes back to where I'm like, I love the show your rolls and all the fancy geese and stuff like that. Yeah. But I don't think those are the greatest ones for training if you're on a budget. Like, people go, I just got to save up and get one really good gee. No, because... No, dude, get a, for for the cost of one shoulder year old, you could buy four Amazon geese, keep them on rotation. Didn't you say they're, they're wait? They're all made in. in they're least, all made in, like in uh, Pakistan. In a lot Pakistan, of times, yeah. all the geese come from Pakistan. Which is which is repa- cool, repurposed. which is fine. It's just that you know, quality's good. But they just put a show year old patch on it. And the <laughs> other one has like a whatever patch. They're all the same gee. <laughs> I don't even know if it's all the same. <laughs> it's the same gee. Gee, dude. It might be. It might be. It might be the same gee, dude. It's I don't know. Same. I it's, wasn't it's in like, the factory. Like, like, I didn't is, see. Like, uh, what is it? The generic brand? What do they call generic brands? Yeah, generic brands. But they had another name for it. Like the private know. label. Private label. Oh. It's all made in the same factory. Like I, I buy, uh, I buy generic fruity pebbles. Okay, they're, so they're, that's called, the same. they're called like Dino pebbles. And or you some want, shit. you want the real ones? They call it fruity pebbles. Yeah. Right. And, and, and then. I actually, put a bunny on it. So here's what's crazy. I, I bought the Fruity Pebbles to make sure, and I bought these freaking Dino Pebbles it's or whatever the hell they're at, and I was reading, and they were made out of the exact same, exact same plant thing. and everything. Yeah, it's it's just same. one goes into a Fruity Pebble box, exactly. one goes into a Dino Pebble bag. Facts. And that's shape. the geese. <laughs> that's, I guess that's the That's geese. everything, basically, right? <laughs> that's the geese. Engine oil. So, it's all the same, man. So, it's all the same. So buy, buy your freaking Dino Nugget, Dino Pebble or whatever freaking geese. But the next one, it's no, no. uh. Oh wait, because I got because it's on geese. Oh shit! Stick with the geese. Yeah, we're Go talking ahead. about Go geese. All right, we're on stay geese. on there because I'll tell you what this this actually really bothers me. Let me hear it. Man, it's not like a grumpy old man, but I'll tell you why it bothers me because okay, so you know I don't really like it's not geese, not my favorite thing, but I still do it. Now we even changed our class to where we're gonna legitimately do even every Friday night. We used to do open mat. Hell yeah. We're gonna do gee. We're gonna follow the gee structure to where if it's you know one week gee. 
Friday night, you bring your gi. If yeah. it's the next Friday, no gi, then it's no gi next that Friday. Yep. Right? When we go on, when we go When we go when, when, we go, go, on, when we go So I've been really like, we're in the gi lately, getting back into it. And it's kind of cool. I like the gi still. I came up with it. Right. But I'll tell you what pissed me off. So I'm rolling with this cat. I'm not going to say who. <laughs> you know who you are. <laughs> you know who you Yo, are. Yo, dude, I tried to grab his gi. Right. His gi was like up to the middle of the uh, forearm. And fuck it was skin yeah. tight. I'm like, are you serious, uh, bro? Are you serious? Those are cheater gi. Cheater gi. Like, Yo, dude, like, what? who are you geese. fooling? Like, here's the thing. This is why it makes me so angry. Because <laughs> I know I'm like really uh, legitimately angry. It so grinds your gears. Okay, here's why. <laughs> why? Here's why it grinds my gears. Because when I wear a gi... I wear a normal gi that has plenty of room. You could grab it. You right. could do a nice little H grip. Hell yeah. You could do a freaking uh, what's pistol, the other grip. pistol grip. Yep. Or if you guys really know, dowel grip. You don't Ooh. know that? Shout out to David Henson. <laughs> dowel grip. Ask David Henson what a dowel grip is. Hell yeah. Okay, so you could do any kind of grip, right? Because I want to be able to experience those grips, and maybe I can work out of escaping it. Yeah. And it's part of jiu-jitsu is that you're going to get my grip. That's part of the sport, right? Absolutely. So if I say, oh, we're training, but I put this little half gi here that goes to my, like this T-shirt. Right, <laughs> and, and basically like just a go, short sleeve. Just gi. do no gi. You can't talk about. Oh, I love the gi. I love the gi, but, but then you got, got this little fake gi on. They still got. They still got the collar. I get it, but you you're taking that. away two limbs, so like it's you're hard. Right. Very, and I play a lot of spider lasso guard, so yeah. now it's very hard for me to get those grips because it's way up here and it, it hurts your hands. Like right, it's almost bro, my impossible. Hands are, are totally sore from the last rolls I did because I rolled against guys that had those stupid gis. <laughs> so don't do that. And here's a funny thing too. If you're going to compete, they're going to say that's not legal. Yeah, they won't, so let, you, they they won't let you come yeah, in so with like, that shit. So why would you practice in something that's not legal anyway? It doesn't make sense. Because, well, oh, I don't yeah. want to get tapped out. <laughs> devil's train. advocate. Devil, devil's advocate. Because jiu-jitsu is still an expensive sport. Uh, bro, or martial art. Gi. Or whatever. That's don't why I say it. get a cheap one. Get a cheap one. But, hey, man, sometimes these fucking things are expensive. Hey, man. And you got, let's say you wore it, and you're like, this is my favorite gi. I've had it since night. 1986, and ah, I love this gi, but I, but I, but my old lady threw it in the damn dryer, and it shrank up on me, and now the sleeves are short. Throw it away. But I don't want to throw it away. What if you have some jeans? My favorite. What if your favorite jeans are now skinny jeans? You got to throw them away. All right, don't get me started. Throw them away. That's a whole different pet peeve. <laughs> <laughs> you got to throw them away. <laughs> right? No. <laughs> At some little, point, you got to throw them away. Uh, so don't be wearing the cheater geese, freaking, man. Uh, don't do that. If, look, if you guys are going to give me crap for not wearing a gi and I finally wear it, and then you're, I'm basically going against you with no gi because you got like, a gi up to your uh, bicep. Right. Then, <laughs> like, let's just go no gi again. Fair enough. Fair enough. Dang. Fair enough. That's, a, that that's a good pet peeve. No, that's a pet peeve, man. Right, that's my pet peeve. The, the whole thing, we're talking about pet peeves. Yeah, yeah, I part. can't tell you what not to have yeah. a pet peeve about. Dang. <laughs> I got my blood pressure down. <laughs> like Joe so, Biden. so for me, <laughs> another good one is, and, and I have even been a perpetrator of this, and I apologize to anyone. Freaking not cutting your nails, right? Ooh. It sucks. I know I have scratched people sometimes, oh, yeah. and I hate that shit. I apologize immediately. It <sighs> sucks. Even the fucking toenails, you know, you're walking around with talons on and shit. Like a you you doing some move real quick and then, yeah man and you just like you slicing, slicing, slicing yeah you slicing Woo. people up and shit you're like damn I'm sorry but it's one of those things right you have to be considerate of the other people that you're rolling with yeah, your fast. training partners it's part of your job is to protect your training partners right to to protect their health and well being right and you slicing them up because you got long nails. You stinking them all up because, you know, you forgot how to take a bath or wash your gi. Um, any of those things, anything that you are going to transfer over to your training partner, you should be cognizant of it. You should pay attention to it. You should go, all right, look, I'm here to hurt you but not injure you. Correct. I'm also not here just to fuck your day up. I'm not here to, like – have you bleeding all over the place because I scratched you up? Yep. I'm not here to have you walking out smelling like who the fucking thunk it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, you're yeah. like you know, you, you should be walking out here going like, whoa, what the fuck were you just into, right? Whether that be super flowery or whether that be just super stinky, um, you have to pay attention to all these things. And I know, you know, sometimes the shit just doesn't cross your mind. 
It doesn't cross your mind. You're not really thinking about it. You're like, I'm that's just trying to get here. here. Yeah, I guess that's why we're here, right? We're here to tell motherfuckers the uncomfortable truths. <laughs> you got to just look out for your training partner because if you don't have your training partners, you got nothing, dude. You got nothing, dude. Like, what the fuck? Are you going gonna to wrestle one of them fucking dolls? Yeah, with, you know? the dummy. The real doll? Wait, that's a whole different doll. Never mind. The uh, <laughs> the, 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 grappling, the grappling dummy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they got AI built to them now. <laughs> right? You got any other freaking wild shit that just bothers you? Nope. Oh, damn, I do. Fuck. <laughs> nope. I have, I have more. Go ahead. What do you well, got? I was going to say first first off, no, I, I have something. But first, I, I do want to say that we appreciate you guys watching our channel. It really means a lot. And what's Hell cool yeah. is, like, we go to school, like, hey, I saw this episode. Like, you don't know how good that makes us feel, man. That's awesome that you guys are engaged and watching it. Definitely. And one thing that really helps, too, is if you guys, like, definitely, I know it sounds cliche, hit the like, hit the like, but it really does help, though, because that's how the algorithm sees it, and it pushes the video out to more people. So, like, everybody that hits a like or subscribe or shares it out or puts a comment, then it's like it puts it in the hands of another person that maybe never saw the channel. Like, oh, this is kind of cool. I never saw it. Because I run across these random BJJ channels because, you know, we're into it. Right. I'm like, where did this guy come from? That's kind of cool. And I check it out. I'm it like, is, right, yeah. Man, we got to hit homeboy up, man. Let's yeah. collab. And it's also, honestly, like, I usually, I, I jump in and I, I respond to some of the comments. I mean, you get some of them too, but, like, yeah. I, I jump in and I try, I try to be real quick. Yeah. Somebody says something, I go, oh, shit, let me, let me, let me respond to this guy. And it's usually funny. There's one guy where he funny. posted some shit about uh, like a Fight Club uh, <laughs> reference. funny comments. So I jumped They're right hilarious. on the Fight Club shit. It was yeah, fun, dude. Your comments are fun. great, dude. I love it. And I'm all about, look, if you throw some TV or movie references, I'm probably going to get that yeah. shit because I'm a movie, TV, music buff. So like, I'm, I'm all about that. If it's cartoons or if it's sci-fi or, or horror, shit. So do you get the meme when I go, we don't care? We don't, do you know what that is? It's a famous meme. Oh, a meme that said we don't yeah, care? Yeah, we don't care. We don't care. What the hell is that from? Stephen A. Smith. Oh, no, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, Stephen A. Smith. So, a, so wait. Put it in a thing. I'm here to tell you right now. We don't care. Let me tell, right, let me tell you. <laughs> we don't care. I, I understand, but oh, it's that, that's a sports thing, though. It's a sports thing. I don't fuck with sports like oh, that. okay, okay. <laughs> but it's still, it's like, it's a common meme that's on. Yeah, but that's everybody just, uses that, it. I, only if you everybody know sports. It. I don't know sports. Right. I don't know shit. <laughs> Listen, here you go. I'm going to throw one out here. I'll, I'll, I'll. I'm going to be vulnerable because I know people are going to be like, what the fuck? And they're not going to believe it. I have never in my entire life. Oh, yeah. I just turned 48. Fucking Happy birthday. birthday. Yeah, I know, right? It was, it was, so it was just, yeah, a couple days ago. I've never in my entire life watched a football game. I've watched parts of one, so I can, I've watched I can parts. relate. Yeah, I've never I've watched I've watched the parts, one. but I've never seen a football yeah. game in its entirety. I've never seen a basketball game in yeah, its entirety. I, I, no, I probably get it. I've never seen a hockey game in its entirety. Get it. Nor a soccer game. I've seen baseball. I only saw baseball, I've been to baseball because yeah. I've been to baseball because yeah, my grandfather fun. took me when I was really young, and I used to play baseball. Yeah, baseball's cool. Had I not done those things, I probably would have never seen that either. And you know, the funny thing is, if you go a bunch of guys, and they're all into football, they kind of look at you like, you ain't a man. I'm, you like, like, I'm like the weirdo, dude. I'm you, like yeah, the you're weird, the outcast. I'm the weird guy. What, what, what do you do? Yeah, I, what do you I choke other men. Yeah. It's like, oh, shit, that sounds weird. You ain't a man. <laughs> you don't like football. <laughs> But I will say too, what's what's the team? I see this goes how shows how much I know about baseball. But baseball is a fun sport. I do like watching it. Right. Oh, the River Cats out here in Sac. That's actually pretty fun, dude. Even though last time I watched them, they, I went to the game there. They were they got destroyed. But a couple years ago, they were actually really good. Yeah. River Cats are solid, dude. Never yeah, heard of them. They were solid. They were Never solid. heard of them. It's like minor league, but it's like a real baseball game. But it's, right. It's they they were really good. They might suck now. It's like I'm not the guy to don't. Don't come to me, man, for baseball updates. I'm not your guy. <laughs> At least it's a sport. But it is a sport. But I can, I can, I can get with that because it's fun. It's the whole experience. You, you get your little hot dogs. You get a beer. You got right. your buddies there. We usually have a, like a little booth or whatever. It's cool. <clears throat> but Damn. anyway, going back to the nails. Now that we're going back on oh, track. Oh shit. People. Okay, so you can't just cut your nails though. You gotta file them, and I'll tell you why. Like, see, for me, I got like Wolverine blood, dude. It's like you know, I heal quick. <laughs> But I also have, like, real strong. My nails are strong, dude. Right. My toenails and my nails are so hard. And, like, I file them, make them smooth. Because, I like, I will cut myself. Like, oh, make man, sure. what happened? Oh, makes sense. Makes sense. some animatium on my toe. <laughs> so, <laughs> got the bone claws, Hell right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but you got to file them. So, you got to file them and take that rough edge off. There you go. Like, like you were saying, Harold, it's like, yeah, yeah you got to be considerate. Take, you know? take care of your I, partners. I've literally cut myself with a fingernail. <laughs> no, like doing something like, oh, man, I cut myself. Yeah, that's some bullshit. It's, it's, you don't want to do is that. Is it carotene in your? Uh, 
Yeah, yeah. I think it's carotene. Something like that. But whatever yeah. it is, man, I got a lot of it. Car- I don't know if it's pronounced. My nails are yeah. not kerosene, carotene. No, 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 I know what you mean. Shit. Not creatine, carotene. No, nah, it's not creatine. I think it is carotene. That's the stuff I take yeah. every day. I know, right? Yeah. That's why you jot, son. Yeah. Oh, man. Let me see. What other kind of fucking shit gets under oh, your oh, skin? Oh, I got a good one. Oh, I got a good oh, you got a good no, one? No, but you want to go? I, I, I don't know. I mean... A lot of my stuff, it's also it, it starts going back to attitudes and stuff. Well, so this yeah, is I can. Align with that. This is align okay, with then that. yes, then I'll, I'll. Okay. See now, I don't want to steal your thunder because I might be thinking the same thing as you. Um, I mean, you go, you go two years. I'll all right. On. So, here's something else that does bother me, right? If you're, but it all still comes back to ego, right? If you're working with it's somebody, okay. you're working with somebody, and you get all upset if they catch you in a move or something like that, and and you kind of start to show out, and you're like. Uh, or, or if you start explaining constantly why, oh, well, you know, you only got me because X, Y, Z, oh. or, well, I was just trying to show you something X, Y, Z. And I'm like, all right, dude, you don't have to break it down for us. Just, yeah. just say, hey, look, slap his hand, say, let's go again. Take the tap, take the L. Right, let me ask you this. And keep it going. Let yeah. me ask you this. Okay, that actually brings up an interesting point. Okay, at what belt do you do that? Because like when I, I know the culture has changed. Because mm-hmm. you gotta remember, like I started 13 years ago. You started like 20, like in, in like the 20s. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but you started a long time ago. You got right. a lot of mad experience, right? But back in the day, think of you as a blue belt. When you subbed a white belt, you didn't be like, okay, let me show you why I did. Nah, you know, I was just like, beating yeah, them up. you just got and you went to the next one. Yeah, but I, I see a lot of. A lot of blue belts now are kind of explaining. I don't know if that's good or bad, well, but it's like I don't think you owe them anything at that belt at that level. But we what, said what are before, your thoughts on that? no, we said before at blue belt you should just eat. feed. Yeah, you gotta grow. You and gotta, purple. You gotta and purple. You're just supposed to be beating people up you and, and getting nothing. better. Now later into your purple, that's when you're getting ready yes. for your brown. Sure, you should start to you should start to think about okay, how can I help more people? I don't really think so. I don't think you owe it to anybody so early into your own jujitsu to teach them jujitsu. You just be there as a sounding board. Like you try a move, they try a move. It exactly. works for you, it works for you. It doesn't work for you, it doesn't work for you. You go back and forth. More likely than not, you have very limited knowledge to begin with. So I don't really want you teaching people shit because you're still learning. You're still figuring still your own learning. shit. Everybody's still learning. Black belts are still learning. Fact. But but it's a different freaking stage at that point in time, right? Like, I mean, a little kid can teach another little kid his ABCs. They can. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Fair enough. But you probably want a teacher to teach that little kid how to start spelling shit. Correct. You know what I mean? To start understanding why grammar is used the way it is. It's yeah. like... Let someone with a little more experience handle all the actual educational portions. Only thing you need to teach a motherfucker is that they better tap before their arm breaks. <laughs> That's good. You know what I mean? It's like, okay, yeah, okay. Right. I will give a prime example of that. During promotions, um, or actually it wasn't promotions, it was the day before promotions, I was teaching a Friday class, and we were doing takedowns and shit like that. Then when open mat happened, we had um, one of our blue belts, was going with a white belt, like brand, brand, brand new, like two, three, four days in white belt. Ooh. And, you know, light roll, wasn't being crazy. Um, caught him in something, and the guy tapped. Cool. They tapped again. They tapped again. Cool, right? He was getting tapped regularly, but the blue belt noticed something, and he addressed it, and I think it was awesome. The yeah. guy kept tapping the fucking ground. He tapped it hard. Oh. He tapped it fast so it could be heard. But our blue belt was like, hey, listen, you should tap me. That's cool. He's like, you should tap me because if I don't notice that you're hitting the ground, I might continue to apply this exactly. and I could hurt you. He's like, and I don't want that to happen. And I was like, that's good. The sense that's of maturity right there, yeah, that that's was tight. fucking that's solid, tight. dude. I was like, that that is something you at that a lower belt, 100% you, can teach, you should, yeah. Right? You say, hey, tap me. Make sure the and guy verbally knows. Verbally, say tap. Please, and verbally. I always yeah. add that. Make sure that what, you, what you're conveying is, please stop hurting me. Yeah. I respected that. I was like, that's good. Yeah, dude. So I think, that, I think there are some uh, situations where a blue belt should be able to tell. Like if it's like a brand new white belt, doesn't know. Yeah, 100%. Absolutely. And you can show them, hey, you messed up. You did this or whatever. But I wouldn't go down the rabbit hole. You don't really, ex- you don't need to 
explain right. a ton of techniques yeah. to them. It's Let me not, show you why this arm yeah, bar should be too, executed in this particular fashion. It's too soon. Like, it's too soon. I tell you what, like I remember seeing one time there were two white belts going, and they were both kind of experienced white belts, but they were rolling, and then one, one guy was like, well, I was just letting him do his game, and I was letting him work, and I'm like, are you serious, bro? Like, at white belt, you're trying to kill each other, bro. There ain't no letting him work his game at white belt. Right. Like, how are you letting him work his game at white belt? Yeah. Like, like maybe but, it's changed, but maybe it's changed, but I don't know. At white belt, I think just, it has changed, actually. I, maybe it has. And, and the reason it's changed it is just because it's the ubiquity of jujitsu. You can go and you can – it's everywhere. You can turn on – any one of your social media feeds, if you follow some jujitsu shit and see a million moves and yeah. see a million ways to show it. And if you absolutely started to practice some of the ways you see on on the video screen, you might get better. You might actually get better. And then you might say, oh, shit, I can share this because That's I true. know it. OK, but fair then enough. but then I still I still I, I guess it's a pet peeve. I kind of take issue to white belts teaching. I don't want you to do that. They don't know the nuances of the movie. Right. That's, I don't I don't want you to do I that. Have. Leave it to your instructors. Yeah. Damn. So now, we have, is we that have ego? A, is that fucking ego, though? No, nah, we have it. I guess we're looking at it differently. My thing was more of a, I guess, like a mental thing. Like, they shouldn't be showing them at all because you're both freaking white belts. Just go fight. And your thing is, like, they have value they can share, but is there is there information really legitimate? Do you they think really know the nuances of it? Their they time don't. is better concentrated on themselves. I think so. And I agree. I bet you should be just kind of just learn. You're not in a I position agree. yet to start sharing the art. Not yet. Not, yeah, uh, that makes sense. Because, look, think about this. If you're going to go get a college degree, right, while I'm taking classes, should I be trying to teach the class as I'm Absolutely learning Absolutely not. It? Absolutely not. Fair enough. <clears throat> yeah. Fair enough. And – Shout out to Brian because Brian was the blue belt who did that. He was working with the guy. Oh, Brian's good. Yeah, he's yeah. he's super DJ solid. Pin? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Brian. He's Brian's super good. solid, and and he was like, "Hey, man," he's like, "Tap me, don't that's tap good. the ground." And I was like, "That's good shit, man." Good that's shit. actually reminds me of like the old what are those uh those Jake uh Jake Paulson videos, you know those those catch wrestling right? You see the, the guy's like, yeah, yeah, he's, yeah. he's not even saying tap, but he's like, ah, he's his legs getting broke. Ah! It's so animated, like, dude, really? It is. They're, they're like, going over the You can tell it's from, top. like, the 90s, bro. Because, yeah. like, in the 90s, you watch anything from the 90s. Ah! Hell, yeah. It was over. It was way over the top. Way over the top. Lion's <laughs> Den or some crazy. Oh, dude, that was awesome. They were, they were, fucking Ken Shamrock yeah. and those guys. Dude, that was, that was some good shit. Good. But I still so got funny, some VHS he, tapes, like, stuck in, a, um, in, my, in my army footlocker. I still got a oh, bunch of VHS tapes. It's so tapes. funny. When you watch some of those old things. And, like, yeah, they'll get – it's so crude, though, the way that they're doing – the way that they're executing. Like, yo, Shamrock is – I love Ken Shamrock, dude. He's a legend. Hell, yeah. But His heel hook, however, right? However, <laughs> however, when you look back – and it's not his fault. I'm sure he's refined now. But back in the day, they were, it was like caveman. Just like, it's going to hurt Yeah. There was, like, zero finesse. It was just literally, like, this big jack dude just like – <laughs> Pretty like, much. It was like, okay, cool. Pretty now it's much. like advanced so much. There's like these it's very smooth. intricate entries, and you know you got to go inverted and do all this cool trickery stuff. Yep, it's sharp. It's, it's, it's way sharp sharper now. now, dude. It's but, for sure. Hey man, shout out to Ken Shamrock because he laid the foundation for it. So uh, yeah. I'm not going to take anything from him. But he was just funny. at a Ken Shamrock was at a convention I went to a year or so ago. Uh, I was out in Vegas with the what it was a correctional convention, and he was telling his story. And dude, he is a damn good orator, man. He can he can tell a good story. He kept everybody like locked I'd in. I'd love to talk to Ken oh, Shamrock. Dude, dude. He's probably was, got so many stories. It was crazy. He had a really good life story. It was a like, really bad life story. Yeah, yeah. But oh, it, was it was good. It was good the way he he was telling it, man. I was like, holy shit, that was cool. <laughs> <laughs> right. uh, let's see. What else do I not like about? I got something. Freaking, oh, you got something else? Go ahead. You yeah, you hit it. Dude, Let me hear it. It's a, it's a little pet peeve. Okay. What's a pet peeve? Man, I hate to say it. Okay, so oh, shit. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't say it then. No, I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. Okay, so look at. Let's say you're in the school. And there's people that maybe you don't know, or people from other schools that come Ooh, in. I know where you're going. Yep, and they come straight to you. Hey man, what's up, Rod? You want to roll? I'm like, really? Like. Bro, okay. there's this other dude right here who's your age, your size, your belt level. Roll with him first. I'm, don't come to me first. I feel you. I'm not your go-to. Even though I love to roll with you and work with you, For sure. you got a chance to roll with the new guy, and I know you're comfortable with me and yes. everything, but go outside your comfort zone and grab that fool first and, and, and then I, get me. I think a lot of that, again, damn. Especially think, being a black belt, it bugs right. me more. If I was a... 
if I was a lower belt, it wouldn't bug me as much. But being a black belt, it's like they call out a black belt when they're, and let's that say they're right a lower belt, be, and there's another belt that they're same matching, right? But they, they're going to avoid them to go to you. And, and honestly, part of that is to protect the ego again. Because they're looking at it like, okay, I know Rod. If I ain't jump, go that if hard. I jump in, in there with Rod, he'll probably just he'll work with me, and oh, maybe he'll feed me a couple of things, or oh, if, you know, he won't match. he won't he won't just beat me up and embarrass yeah. me. Whereas this guy is an unknown. It's gonna be a fight, and I really uh, he looks just like me. Yes, he's got the same <laughs> belt as me. Same size. I saw him roll a couple times against other yes. people. He rolls like me, and it's like if I roll against him. Will I get embarrassed? No excuses. Will I mess up? Will I be? Will I fall right. short? And again, that's their ego. That's the ego, ego. saying, "Can I accept a L?" Versus, if I take an L from a black belt, so, eh, no big deal. Yeah, I mean, I lost. he's a black belt. He's a black belt. He's supposed to get me. Yeah. But if I got another three stripe blue belt, and I'm a three stripe blue belt, and we're the same damn size, he looks like he's my age. We could be mirror twins. What if I lose to him? Does that mean my jujitsu sucks? Exactly. Are, are the black belts going to be looking over my shoulder and going, you, sir, need to give your stripes back? Yeah, yeah, When in reality, what do we say? No one cares. No one cares. It's all, and here's a, I think if everybody had that mentality, we'd all get so much better. Because think, think of how many people that we like, well, I don't want to roll with him, or I'm going to roll with this guy. You right. pick your role selectively, right, based mm. on a lot of ego has is, is kind of, comes into play basically right yeah. but if, if you had yeah. zero ego i think we'd all be a little bit better because you wouldn't even care like you're like I well don't care. see i think we'd be better hobbyist oh because if we're Break it down. if if we're part of the murder squad in our in our competition jujitsu classes then you can't do it that way you can't do it that way it you got to roll with some of the lower then guys you, just you to have get to, practice yeah, yeah you have to go it. with way more intensity <clears throat> yeah and you have to really go out there and beat people up and so there's a difference right and we always do we always say this we don't hide this we are usually coming at this from guys with you know combined decades worth of experience as hobbyists yeah. this is not our full-time job i love jujitsu I would, I would say there's there's nobody who loves jujitsu more than me, right? They're like, what bullshit? What about Marcelo Garcia, man? He made a career out. Marcelo Garcia doesn't love jujitsu more than me. Nice. I love jujitsu as much as I can love jujitsu, right? So I believe that most of you probably love jujitsu as much as you can love jujitsu. So I can never take that away, right? And I don't compare my love of the art to your love of the art. You love it. I love it. I'm a hobbyist. You might be a freaking competitor, right? Yeah. You still don't love it more than me. Well, I, I train seven times a day. I don't give a fuck. You still don't love it more than me, right? And I still don't love it more than you. It's just different. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> we, no, facts. we just love it differently. And, and that's okay. But when I'm out there doing the damn thing, I don't. I don't try to take away anybody's jujitsu. I don't try to down them for what they're capable of. So you should. You got to get out there. You fight that person who's your mirror image. You don't don't take yep. the safe don't take the safe path all the time, right? Facts. Don't, I, you know, yeah, yeah, go ahead. I want to shout out two people yeah. that are the like complete antithesis of this. These people are like game. From from the male side, it's shorty. Shorty will fight anybody, and look at Shorty. He's like a hundred and hundred ten, hundred twenty 110 pounds. pounds. And he'll he'll fight anybody. Like yeah. like that is mad respect, dude. Yeah. He doesn't care, and he's just like, hey, Rod, you're. I know because me and Shorty have great roles. Hell yeah. It's fun. He knows he's not gonna get hurt or anything yep. like that. And he doesn't just come to me first. Oh, let's go. Like there, if there's another little dude in there, he's all over that guy. Like and if there's Rice, another dude, big dude in there. He's all over. He's him. over him too. And from the female side, I gotta shout out that girl Zuli. She's the same way because a lot of I've seen this with the females a lot where there's where you could have a woman say, oh, there's no guy. I mean, there's no women in here. It's all guys. A new woman comes in. They avoid them like the freaking plague. Yeah. But Zuli doesn't like yeah. she will go after it. And I'm going to I'm going to give it now. I think maybe her husband's a wrestler. So maybe some of that mentality might rub right, off. On her. Right. But right. Whatever it is, I'll shout her out and I'll shout out Shorty for that. So that's hell. Yeah, that's props. And then I will also go back to when I say nobody really cares. We st and I'm we not going to drop care. names. I know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's so funny because we literally, we were literally watching Rome. And we yes. forgot. We were watching. So, and I'm not going to throw names. And I was about to say that. I'm like, we were like, oh shit, yo, watch 
these two roll. This is going to be great, right? And we're on it. And then somebody was like, hey, man, you want to try some of this brisket with this, uh, yeah. with this hot chipotle <laughs> we sauce? We literally on? forgot. And we are like, oh, yeah, let me try this shit, right? And then we, we took a bite of this yeah. hot-ass brisket. And then we started talking about all like, this shit. Who won that roll? I was like, I what the know. fuck? I was like, I didn't even know it I ended. forgot. <laughs> Because we don't care. We don't care. It's not that important. You know what is important? The fact that they did it. Like, yes. just they, they did it. It's like, awesome. I didn't, re- I didn't really give a shit how it ended. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I just, I was happy that it happened. It happened. That's because it was like, it was two people to go, holy shit, you're my mirror image. Yes. Let's do it. Yeah. That's I don't cool. care how it ended. Yeah. I care that you did it. That it happened. I care that you didn't, you didn't take the path that was always traveled. You took the path less traveled. You went and said, hey, you know what? I'm actually going to test myself right now, and it's going to be what it's going to be. Nobody's going to get hurt. We're going to shake hands or hug after the end of it, and then go to the next roll. Facts. And that's all you do. You slap hands, you roll. When you're done, you shake hands, and you go roll with somebody else. It's not that serious. It's really not. It's really not. not. (laughs) Check your fucking ego at the door. Yeah. Nobody's actually watching you roll. Nah, I watch. I'm just Nah, Sometimes I don't fucking watch. I don't. I don't. Actually, that's bullshit. I don't. I don't. But that I, does. Ju- I but, see it. But that's the. But one I'm not thing. like really. I'm We're not. We're really not really focusing on it. It's not going to change like your day. You're not. Right. You're going to forget about it the next. I time. won't think less of you for yeah. losing. Get, yeah. I'm not going to think more of you for winning. Because you're not supposed to win or lose in practice. Exactly. There's it's really just practice. It's practice. There's not yeah. really a, a. Even if you win and you get something, did you really win? Because right. like, it's like, did they like, go as hard as they, they could? Yeah, did you not, go as hard as you could? Was it a match? It really, yeah. Was it? Don't be the fucking king of practice. Especially the higher up you go, it's like it's not really. It's just not important. It's You're just not. training. That's it. We're and just training, training. Is fun, man. I love training. I just want to have a good time. So and here, how, do you a pet peeve? The guys that do that, and then those guys, those same guys, don't compete. Like, they want to be oh, the king of practice. Right, right, right. In, but they don't in feel the like, gym. are you serious, dude? In the gym. Oh, I passed this guy's guard. Oh, I submitted this guy. Oh, okay, okay, that's yeah. good. Did you compete? No, I didn't compete. It's Go like compete. It's like uh, what 50, 50 Cent say, in high school, you were the man, homie. What yeah, the fuck yeah. happened to yeah. you? And that's like, the, the gym is like high school, right? And then the real deal is at the competition. In the gym, you're like, yeah, I'm fucking running shit. I'm beating everybody. I'm, a, I'm like... Yeah, but you're all supposed to be going 70%. You're, and you're going, going 100%, 100%, right? You're not it's going like, 100%. Chill out. You're just chilling, dude. That's why it's like at the end of the day, it's just you're just training. And like, even if you catch just somebody in some crazy move and you're going pretty fast, it's still not, it's not a competition. So you really, without the pressure of all that, you know, there's a medal on the line, there's mm-hmm. your school's reputation on the line. That's a cool thing I would say about competition. Without yes. all those other factors, it's kind of meaningless. Like, it, so it is. You're right. You know what I mean? Like, oh, I yeah, caught this guy. 100%. Did you really catch him? Though? Well, and and so Did speaking really of that, him? right? So for the people who are going, yo, I got this guy in practice. And, oh, I caught this guy. It's like, yo, you know, I'm this belt. He's this belt. He's this belt. Yeah. Like I catch him all the time, and yo, he catches this guy. Yeah. So they're through through I could be through him. transitive properties. Yeah, yeah. If I can beat him and he beats all these people, I don't even need to roll with these people. Yeah. Because yeah. I beat him, so I That's know I funny. can beat them. And it's like that actually doesn't work out though. Shit it don't never, work that I way, know, right? It's weird, yeah. And it's stupid if you think it does. Because here's the deal. You got him, you beat him, quote unquote. How hard was he fighting? Exactly. Is this guy a monster and that's why he can smoke all these other people? But when he rolled with you, maybe he fed you some shit. Yeah. Maybe you caught him when he was already like ten rolls in and he's just yeah. like, eh. I'm just chilling, man. I'm just trying to work a sweat here. I'm just I'm I'm on an injury and I'm just fighting protecting my one side, exactly. right? I don't even use my left arm to fight you. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah you caught me. And it's like, eh. So practice is not a match. It's practice. Don't be the king of practice. If you're getting everybody in practice, that doesn't necessarily mean that you're like super badass. Even though you might be, you might be super badass. Yeah, it doesn't mean you're not. You yeah, it doesn't, be it doesn't mean you're not. Yes, correct. It does not mean you're not. <laughs> yeah. But a lot of times, man, just gotta understand. You might in your head think, "Oh shit, I'm going after it," whereas your opponent might be like, oh, "I'm just chilling." Yeah, and you have no way of knowing. Like, right. You don't know. So you're thinking, "I you're, got you have him, your own reality." Him. And yeah. he's just like, "Nah, dude, I was just, I was just chilling." Yeah. If you want to know. Ask them for a match. Say, hey, I'm getting ready for a comp or I'm getting ready for blah, blah, blah. Or I just want to see. How, yeah. Would you be interested in their next round being a match? 
We're going to start standing. We're going to let people know so they get the fuck out of our way. Yeah. We would like to do a match. And here's the thing. When we start, it's not a roll. However it goes. If he taps you, that's it. That was the end of it. Yeah. It wasn't, oh, I tapped this guy six times. That's yeah. not how matches work. Yeah. A match is you start there. He starts here. Slap hands. Go. If he or to be position, if it worst case scenario. Well, well, but then it's still not a match. No, no. If it went like the full time. Oh, if you oh, if you went the whole time, right? If you went the whole time, right? You should have somebody watching. Yeah. If you're going to match, you should have somebody watching because he might just eat your lunch and fucking dominate the shit out of you and outpoint the shit out of you. Yeah. So yes, a match you should have somebody who understands scoring, and do it that way. Or unless you go submission only match. Oh yeah. And then fine, but. If you really want to test yourself, do it as a match. Don't think that you're kicking everybody's ass in and practice. I, and I would even say if you really want to test yourself, just go compete. Because it's yeah. like you everybody yeah. knows each other's game. You know, True. you know, everybody knows what each other's gonna do. It's like that that's the unknown element is a is a, a differentiator in my opinion. Because I've I've noticed just for me, it's like there's guys that maybe will come to the school and I'll like I'll wreck shop on him, dude. Because, like, I'm not the best jujitsu guy, but I have a lot of sneaky stuff that, like, I catch a lot of people with. Hell yeah. But then after, like, a couple months, like, it doesn't work anymore. Absolutely. They know my game. Like, yeah, it doesn't work, and that's kind of all I got. I'm, like, an okay grappler, but I have a lot of sneaky stuff, basically. And if they haven't seen it or if they, they haven't seen it, I'm, like, I got a good chance them. of getting you, yeah. right? But, so, you know. But, so but that think, comes back to the rising tide lifting all boats. The, yeah. You showed him something. Exactly. And now he's, he's incorporated it into their game. Exactly. And they at least, even if they don't do it, they understand it can they be done. They understand it. Yeah, right? they know what to look for. Like, oh, and they roll with you every freaking day. They know what's going like, on. Do you know what I did to every single one of our new brown belts? Immediately. <clears throat> knee barred them and fucking did a twisting footlock, the toe hold on them. Why? Yeah. Because they just, they're not used to that coming in a gi. Oh, in the gi. Oh, you're right. Knee bars in the gi is legal? Fuck yeah. So I immediately, I slap Why hands I with our, our new brown belts, slap hand, bump and roll. Boom. Old school. Right to the fucking knee bar. Knee bar is Boom. Gym. Switched yeah. up. Right to a fucking twisting footlock. Because they just weren't used to it. In the key, it is legal. I, I, I kind of forgot. And then every one of our people who just got their blue belt, wrist lock, wrist lock, wrist lock from every fucking angle. I wrist locked every single one of our new blue belts from every possible angle I could. Welcome to blue belt. Because, yeah, welcome to blue belt. Because it's just like, then you really have to start seeing these people. See the people you roll and go, they could have done this to me any time and they just never did. So how many other things could they have done to me? And they just never did. So, yeah. Check your ego at the door. I told you I was going to bring That's this one That's the most important yeah. thing. I think an ego would fix like 90% of it things. It would. It would. Um, and you know the funny thing is like the guys I have really good roles with, they don't have an They ego, have a man. very healthy ego. They have yes. a very, like you have to have an ego. Like if it has to be a healthy, oh, I sure. have an ego, bro. We all I do. definitely have an ego. Like if, if you're doing jujitsu, you have a freaking ego, right? Because right? you want to dominate We're competitive. People. We want to yeah. win. But it's it's not that's not the sole purpose of our right. you know being your existence rolling. isn't like just, just to, to win. mash people constantly, yeah. Yeah. so you should have a healthy mm-hmm. ego. A healthy ego just it 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 just it makes it so that you're calm most of the time. Yeah, you're not like you're not thinking people are trying to do shit against you. Don't try to take whatever you're internalizing. And apply it to other people. Yeah, don't project don't, your thing. Don't project, exactly. Don't say, I know what they're thinking. Because one thing that you don't fucking know is what's in the mind of another person. I don't yeah. give a shit how good you think you are. You don't know what's going through someone else's mind. There's only one person on earth who knows what's going through their mind, and it is that person, right? So try not to project your shit on other people. Um, continue to love the fucking sport or martial art. It's a sport, man. Damn Talk it, about man. This. It's, not, it's either a sport or a game. It's not a game. A game was you go, People I go. People keep saying go, sport, and it's starting to make me fucking call it a sport. But I'm it is try- a sport, isn't it? But I don't, oh, it's a martial art, too. It's though. a martial art to me. Yeah, let's not go down But I can't help it now because I keep hearing it so often, and, man, I... I don't want to. I don't want to be. Cheating. We need to make a, a word that kind of like like homogenizes it, right? A spart. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't sound. It's good a martial spart. I don't know. No, that's fucking stupid, dude. Whatever the case may be. How about be, a martial sport? That a sounds, martial sport. That actually doesn't sound terrible. It doesn't sound that bad, huh? I'm not. Gonna, I'm sport. not going to say that shit. Either a sport, sport art, art, sport art, or a martial sport. 
It's like a spork, a spark. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I don't even care. Just do the shit because if it's important to you, you'll find a way and you'll do it. If it's not, you'll find an excuse. You'll bullshit off. You'll let your ego tell you, hey, don't even Take do control. it, man. Don't even fucking show up because it's not worth it. Oh, man, I got tapped that last time. And the guy was a lower belt than me, and he got me. Don't, man, don't get in your own way. Don't get in your own way. Excuse all of our pet peeves. I know. It was... Like, these are too grouchy. grouchy I know. Like, these grouchy old these man guys. and shit. I got that old grumpy old man fucking thing Boys going. Boys get all raspy. Damn. You know why? It's because my birthday just passed. I think oh, I got another man. year in the book, so that's why. I think I was just yeah. like, fuck. Let's just complain about shit today. But even our complaints. But these are valid. Yeah, these, these, are, these, these are valid, though. You know what's funny yeah. is? Any upper belt will probably know these things, recognize them. They're probably going to agree with them, man. They just maybe don't want to say it. They just but, never vocalize it. Yeah, they're not going to vocalize it, but this is man. legit, dude. It's, it's, it's true. And don't get it twisted. We need the lower belts. We need people oh, yeah. to keep coming in. The sport dies if we don't get new blood, right? Facts. The martial art. I said fucking sport. Oh, you did. Well, you didn't say game, at least. It could have been worse. The game dies if... The game would have been way worse, right? Been bad. The martial art dies if we don't get new blood, right? And when new blood comes in, it's like any generational thing. The older generation complains yeah, about the got, younger yeah, generation. It's, uh, yo. That's just how shit goes, man. You're right, you're it's like, right. get off my fucking lawn, these kids are... Yeah, that's just how we do it, dude. People complained about us when we fucking first started. They mm -hmm. used to tell us how, you, you're not even that tough, y'all. You just need to take an ass whooping and shut up. Why are you yeah. asking all these questions? Yeah. I'm like, I'm sorry. Just, just beat me up some more. So times change. Things change. But then the more things change, the more they stay the same. Isn't that how that's? They kind of do. Right? They kind of do. I mean, we're, we're going to beat you guys up. It is what it is. But it's not because we don't like you. It's not because we don't love you. We, we're happy to have you as, as part of the family, right? Like, take your ass whoopings like everybody else. Check your ego at the door as best you can. Because it is hard to fucking check your ego, especially yeah. when you're first starting. I think that's part of maturing in the belts. And is it is, that. yes. Part of maturing in the belt is developing that healthy ego. Understanding that it's not that serious because you're not in a fight for your life in your own fucking gym. Right? You're not, you're not here. It's not the fucking Kumite. Yeah. Right? Nobody's got broken glass yeah. with fucking... Honey wrapped, fucking, you know, no, those. No, Dip no, it in the glass. Get that like shit. Ah, yeah, ah. You know, it's not that serious. It's just have a good time. Enjoy yourself. Help people. White belts, blue belts. Don't help too many fucking people. Don't right? help. <laughs> you don't need to help too many people. Just go ahead and get yours for right now. But in getting yours, don't go 100%. Don't go over the top because it's still not a competition in your gym. If you want to experience that, go to actual competition. Go compete. Or if you're not really into that, at least inform the person you're about to go with that you would like to go at competition speed. Yeah. Or I, I would like a match. Yeah. That's really it, Rod. Like, I, I, I could complain and shit. I could just keep complaining, but Me I don't too. want to because I'm I getting know. like an old grumpy old man. For so real. I, I can stop. like. I just feel my heart hardening yeah. and it's like, why are you kids doing that shit? Listen to all that hippity hoppity music and all that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. It's all bad. All right, man. Tell them, tell them something, Rod. <laughs> okay. So first off, hey, so we had promotions last, this will date the video, which is good, but we had promotions last, what was it yesterday actually, right? So shout out to all our guys who got promoted. We got a couple black belts, Hell yeah. a couple brown belts. We Masha had, Preta. Yeah, we got one one purple. We got a ton of blue. So check it out. All the blue belts, y'all got your souls. Got a we soul got a, now. We got a soul now because if you white belt, you don't have a soul. <laughs> <laughs> That's so wrong. Bro. It is wrong. <laughs> That's terrible. It's fun though. It very, I, I think Eric looked at me. He's like, I got a soul now. He did. He did. He's like, I got a soul. <laughs> Eric's awesome, He's like, dude. you see, I got my soul. He's awesome, dude. It's like the golden ticket, Love fucking guy, uh, Willy Wonka. I yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. But anyway, yeah. So yeah, like I said, if you guys do, uh, you know, like the content, let's keep it going. Keep it going. Next time we won't complain so much. I promise. But we'll try to bring something of value, even though this had value. Uh, what, what do we say? What you got? File, cut your nails. Cut your nails and file them. And Don't wash have a your stinky, stinky gi. 
Don't right. don't have a, don't have an don't have a overpowering negative. smell, whether you think it's a good smell or a bad smell. Yeah, negative don't have smell an like oh, you just yeah. reek. Yeah, even if you smell good, look, dude. Oh, you're right. I, I, smell good. Yeah, yeah. I, don't it's don't smell too, smell too fucking good either. Yeah, I got my take those challenges. Thing. High karate. Right? Take right. those challenges <laughs> that like the unexpected because I do it too. Like even as an older guy, like we get guys come in like I don't I don't know what belt it is. It's no gi. I could be a big old buff dude. I'm like. Yo, I gotta do it. Like, remember who do we have to come in? Oh, remember that dude that, that came from uh, Saudi Arabia, the freaking UFC fighter or whatever. <laughs> it wasn't used, but he was like an MMA fighter uh, from the United Arab Emirates. Yes, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, dude. He, he came was in. Tough, dude. I had to get him first because I was like, tough. man, this is my class. I gotta deal with it first because like I don't know if he's gonna go crazy on my guys. So in the interest of my school, I gotta deal with it first. I didn't want to. It's freaking horrible, dude. But at least I did it. You know, still made it safe face, right? Yeah. But it's all good. So. He was a high level, tough have, competitor. He was too, tough, though. dude. Yo, yeah, yeah, he was a monster, dude. Shit. So I could have easily just said, "Hey, Harold, let's roll. Come on, right? Harold, let's roll." I see Harold every play, play the safe move. Yeah, but no, nah, I ain't gonna do that, dude. Like, so, hey, let's just hug. I do it, but I do it when I need to. I don't do it all the time. I do right. it when I need to. That's a that's a difference. So I, I rely on you guys to handle that. What would you say, John has to be like? Go, <laughs> Did you say let's do it? So that was that was a good one too, right? I, I goes, totally do that. He goes. Uh, a guy the came guy in. came and said, "Hey man, you want to roll?" He's like, "You're not ready." Yo, he, he but, but he's got a he's got a funny like the demeanor he about him. Yeah, he always he's 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 a super cool. So guy. frame it up. The guy came in off the street. All right, so while so yeah, the guy actually he's a brown belt, big dude from California. Lived in Vegas for a lot of years. Um, bad motherfucker, right? And he came in. He wanted to sign up, and because South Jersey, the biggest school in South Jersey is John Hassett's, right? Hassett's freaking jujitsu, and. He gets out there. I'm upstairs because uh, the mats were upstairs, like the main training mats were upstairs, and we're just going, boom, chilling. And I think it actually was the class had ended, and I was just still there. And the guy showed up. And he's like, "Hey, man, you know?" He's like, "I'm here. I wanted to sign up." He's like, uh, "You know, you want to go up and do some roll a little bit?" And John was like, "Nah." He's like, "You're not ready." He said, like, "Go upstairs. You can mess with one of my purple belts." <laughs> Yo, you know, to this day, like when people come, like. Dude. Man, go get one of my blue belts. Yeah, please. yeah. That's fucking you know what? hilarious. I have confidence in our blue, our blue belts. Are They're monsters, really good. Dude. Yeah, for our sure. guys are tough, bro. For our sure. guys are, and I have I have every confidence in them, and they got to go with those guys first. Yeah. It's like. That's an honor to me. That's an honor, man. So if, I, if, if you I'm play both. video games, those are like all your underlings. Those are the henchmen yes. before you get to the big boss. It's an honor, dude. And I'm that's not saying like any great. like I'm any better. Like some of these blue belts no, will bring no. a whooping on them. You but know what I mean? But like tradition. That's martial art. That's just the way it is. Yeah. That's a martial art thing. Yes. Think about like Enter the Dragon and all that. Bruce Lee didn't, just, those guys he didn't just run in and kick the main guy's yeah. ass. First, you got to fight the fucking exactly. underlings. Exactly. So you go beat up the underlings, and then and then, then the big top. boss is standing there like, you think you're ready for me? Yeah. That's awesome. That's every martial arts movie, every dude. Martial. Every martial yeah. arts. They never just go right to the top. Unless he chooses to, like the boss chooses to. Right? And if he chooses to, it's because like he's about to just whoop your ass. That's a situation like, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> so He's going to beat the dog shit out of you if he chooses yeah, to. Yeah. But, anyway, yeah. Ooh, let me say this. Hold on. Listen, everybody. Uh, we really need you to, uh, you know, respond and talk in, the, talk in the chat because it helps the algorithm. See, I'm stealing raw shit. It helps the algorithm, and we want you to like, share, and subscribe. Because if you do that, we get to push it out to more people. Everybody gets to love us, not just you guys. Share the wealth. Push us out there. Yeah, and I just genuinely, I like the comments, dude. Whenever there's a comment, I'm, I comments get all excited. I'm like, oh, so cool. What does, this guy, what does this person have to say? And and it's usually something really funny or, or yes. cool or entertaining. And you know what? There's going to be hate at some point. We're going to get some hate. Right? Doesn't not that happen. we're asking for hate. No, we're not asking for it. But at some point, you know, you get more people. They're gonna be someone like, "Oh, you guys are full of crap." You know, blah, Somebody's blah, blah. gonna be and out there. You know there. what? It's cool if you if you disagree. Yeah. It's cool. I, I we welcome everything. We I, we welcome the engagement, basically. But I'm a I real. I'm, I'm a very likable guy. I'm very nice. So I'm someone gonna hate you. you know. <laughs> <laughs> who who can hate this face, dude? I'm telling you, like, why would anybody hate me? I don't right, understand. Right. Okay. <laughs> but on that note, I think we can close it out. We're good. We appreciate you guys once again, and we will get back at you guys next week. So in the meantime, just keep your head down. Keep you know, keep like you said, keep your ego at the door. Yeah. Check the door and keep training. And we'll see you guys next week. Us. Us. You can complain all day. Get off my lawn. All right. So pet peeves. Pet peeves, man. This tequila is bringing it out. I'm getting angry. Good. You can, you can talk about all your fucking pet peeves. I know when you're ready. I'm 
born ready. Are you ready? I'm born ready. ready. <laughs> Let's do Get it. Fuck.